Hello, it's Kristen from Life of Crafting, and this will be the doorway to my new craft studio. This is about half Oh, my flashes. I oh, know that light bulb's going nuts. Um, this is like half of my basement. And I did a previous video with what I was intending to do, and we finally had the sale and got rid of all that stuff that was in this area. So I've got some stuff left. This light is, this ball must be, oh, it's the uh, overhead. It's deciding to work or not work. This is just a few things that have to go out to our warehouse, but um, to the left of you coming in, I have a tree that is our Christmas tree that is gonna find a new home. Um, actually behind me is an area that I put some of my holiday stuff in. So in a few minutes, I'm gonna just take down these plastic shells and get rid of them out of here because I want to measure, um, start measuring the lengths of these walls. And then this table is one, I just kind of liked it. I found it at Goodwill and I thought it was really kind of cool. And there's a few things in there that I'm probably gonna have to, you know, again, donate or just, I don't know, find homes with them and extension cords and stuff. They probably just need to be, re, you know, put away. But there is another round table on that table that I found that was kind of cool that somebody had made. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Um, it kind of had like a drop leaf effect to it. Um, but unfortunately, the leg here kind of broke. I want to see if I can get my husband to fix it. But, you know, it's really under here. Um I'm going to show that at some other point because I really want to find a place for this. It's like a light sage green and they painted it up. Oh, no, there's just too much on it. There's like a floral design on it and it was really nice. And I bought it at a yard sale years ago and the couple selling it, it was like, I think her husband had made it. And it, it just, I don't know, it just really had a good feel and vibe to it, if that makes any sense. But like I said, this area here of shelves, I want to keep... And I want to put like one of them sliding barn doors across it. I think I'm going to see if my husband will do that with um, like three panels. So I can just kind of push them back and forth and then have them all closed. It'll make a wall. Like I said, I have um, a walkout basement door to go outside. So we're going to have to do some trimming. Um, I'm really debating if I want tile. I, I kept thinking like I'll just do this kind of cheap and yeah you can see I still have like dirt and stuff to clean up in here but um I was thinking about just painting but I'm thinking now I may want to do like that tile that looks like wood I don't know um him and I are discussing like you know my son's graduating high school and I know when Ian leaves he's not coming back like he's already said like Florida bound and that's it um so I'm thinking that I don't know how long we're gonna be here um so like this area here, I think I'm gonna just leave open and put a table next to it with some chairs. And then going over here to this wall is my longest run. I'm thinking like, so this is where I kinda of wanna do like a TV and maybe like an entertainment center type of thing that I can use for some storage. But <clears throat> I don't just do cards, as you can see by what's in these shelves over here. I got all kinds of different like hobbies. So. I'm thinking that I want like an entertainment center that I can put um, different types of things on. I do want these gone. I bought these to use in a store that we were doing as a co-op for the retail business. And um, these were ones I overbought, you know, because I seem to, I guess, overbuy on everything. Oh God, I'm like breaking things that are on the floor that I need to sweep up. Um, so these need to get sold. I've just been kind of temporarily using them here for these shoe boxes full of cards that I have done. So I need to get, a, my next step is to get the measurements of what this total wall run is. See if I can convince the hubby to do what I want to do here, which, you know, they never want to cooperate at first. It seems like he's got to be convinced of it. Um, but then I need to know this run. Now I'm standing in the opposite corner looking back. That was the door I was just in. I said I wanted to look like a couch kind of area over there. And then once I get these um, shelves broken apart, and they're really easy. I got these at like Home Depot for like 50 bucks back in the day. They just kind of come apart. They just snap together in here. Like, like there you go, you know, it's not gonna take me long. I need to get a, a run of what this wall is going to be. 
so I can determine um, this is the wall I kind of want my um, desk area to be on and I'm thinking I want to put that calyx system if I can fit it from where this pipe comes into the house or out of the house whichever way you want to say it I don't know if I have enough of a run from there to the door and actually I could probably count that because what's the cinder block length are they 16 inches maybe um, and that's not quite down so I got one two three it's 32 and yes yeah, so I got like 40 inch I got like a 40 inch run right here um, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit my calyx system in here unfortunately um yeah I'm gonna have to see what I'm gonna do I may have to I'm wondering if I have maybe enough room uh, between these underneath this pipe so when I can see that pipe is my only thing that would take me in this run um, see these are the considerations is a do I put it over here um, and just not put it flush to the wall I don't know that I want to do that um, I know that I don't think I'm gonna be able to convince him that we build something out of the wall um, like make a wall in front of the the pipes and like enclose the pipes into it and I don't think I'm gonna be able to, and honestly I don't know that I want to do that much um, work down here because again like I said we are looking to move probably in the next five years he's saying six but I'm saying five um so I'm thinking this will may have to be that and again I don't want to do anything permanent because I want to build when I want to sell this house I don't want people coming down here and feeling like they're obligated to take any kind of cabinetry or anything I do so this is where we're at right now I'll be back. So now we're back. Short, are you here? This is one of my outdoor cats that have been domesticated. What are you doing, Shorty? You had a lot to say a minute ago. No? Nothing? So the shelves are gone. And uh, they are piled up there. There's a slow leak that uh, we're going to have to get fixed before we get anything done here. Um, so that is the plethora of broken tree, broken trees, but the trees that I'm going to be listing on eBay to get rid of from uh, mishaps with different orders and stuff, whether it be ours or manufacturers that have to get sold. Um, and then I have two piles here uh, that represents six of those shelves. And then I just need to uh, sweep up. Oh, here's Shorty back. What are you going to say? Okay, that was hello in cat language. So I just need to sweep up. Um, and the rest of the shelves came. This is kind of like an L. This is where my stuff is. That's where the tree went. I took two shelves out of there. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be down that way. And just get it out of here. And then uh, I wanna rearrange some of this stuff here to get the tree further down there. Um, and away from the hot water heater. So I'll be doing that and I'm just going to sweep up. This is a pile of things that have come from, um, we've been married 26 years and that's stuff that came to us in the beginning of the marriage from my um, in-laws house. That was my son's, or my son's, my husband's from when he was a kid. So there's a little bit of paperwork and then these two boxes are two old tool toys. So I'm gonna make him go through them and see what we're keeping. But other than that, um, we are ready to start the measuring and the actual planning. I wanna get some nicer light fixtures, maybe a drop ceiling in here. So we shall see. I'm gonna end this part. That represents dirt from, oh, oh, oh. my son is 18. And I started my career in the internet world on eBay um, 19 summers ago. If that isn't scary enough. And this business and these shelves were part of the start of Kristen's Grey Films. This is where we had all the shelves lining the walls. My mom used to be out there packing orders. And the, the story that little dirt pile could tell. Nothing is ever done in life, is it? 
There is a blue box from Leah Sophia that was a box I found behind the walls over here. Um, that was something I bought at the yard sale to sell online because I started our, our business when I was working full time and uh, just did that as a typical like going to yard sales and you know buying stuff and I would resell it and sadly that bracelet probably was something I had sold and couldn't find at some point and had to cancel the order. Who knows? Um, it is kind of a nice bracelet. I may keep it. So anyway, that'll end this segment for today. Um, like I said, this is now the time where I get to have a little more fun. I get to take the measurements and think about what all this area is going to look like when it gets done. Um, even the ceilings, you know, yes, I have high back. I got to get around and, you know, plumbing and there was a, you know, wire that needs to get done so that we can get a, a regular uh, lighting in here that needs to be done by a licensed electrician. So all of this will now come into the planning phase. Can't wait. So I'll take you along for the ride. This is Kristen again from Life of Crafting. If you want to see more of this, be sure to subscribe so you can get alerted when I load up the next and the next part and I get to say goodbye to 19 summers worth of eBay sales. Bye.